Final question. Discuss why different user interfaces require the use of different types of input device. And it is an eight mark question. Now, I think looking at the way they've worded that question, I think it's enough to frighten anybody. But it's not what they're asking. It's the way they're asking it. Now, the first thing you need to think of is the word user interfaces. Now, we did this back in year 10. Okay, so that would be, if you remember, is your graphical user interface and your um, command line interface. Then it says different types of input devices. Now, input devices are basically anything that you use to put data into the computer. Now, a way that they could ask this question a lot easier is discuss why command line and graphical user interfaces require different types of input devices. So that's the way they could ask it. That would be a lot easier. But they try to confuse you by saying user interfaces. You only need to know two user interfaces, and that's it. So here's examples that I've got for you. This is your command line user interface. What would you use to put um, data into the computer for that user interface? So remember your input devices. Okay, here's some input devices. Keyboard, numeric keypad, pointing device, remote control, joystick, touchscreen, scanner, graphics tablet, microphone, digital camera, webcams, light pens. These are all things that we use to put data into a computer. And obviously, output devices are what data comes out of the computer. So that could be your monitor, projector, speakers. Okay. So looking at that interface, what would you use? I can only think of one input device, and that is a keyboard. Um, I can't I very much doubt you would use you would not use a scanner. I can't see the point of a graphics tablet for that, and of maybe a, a keypad, so your keyboard and keypad, okay, to type in numbers. So if we look at our command line, are there numbers in there? Um, yes. So you may use a keypad, okay. Um, now, your next user interface would be your graphical user interface. So, what would you use to input data um, into a graphical user interface? First thing I think of is I'm going to need a mouse to select um, the app or, you know, the application software that I need. Um, graphical user interfaces, obviously, you, you probably, um, you could use a touch screen for that. Okay. So, discuss the most obvious. Let's give you some more ideas, okay? More ideas. So, um, I'm not one to just show the answers, but I just want to show you this because I think this is quite important, okay? Um, for eight mark questions, they mark based on levels. So, your level one would be one to three marks. Um, the weakest candidate would probably um, identify at least one user interface, so they might only think of a graphical user interface. And the input devices they would use, they would just simply write a list. Okay. Um, for a level two, you would describe both the interfaces. Um, you would use reasons why you would use a keyboard. Okay. Um, reasons why pointing devices are used for graphical user interfaces. And reasons why different input devices relating to the different types of user interface. Okay. So. And then obviously, you know, the level uh, seven to eight, okay, would probably go that little bit further. So now looking at this, okay, you don't just say a graphical user interface, I would use the mouse to point and click. Say the reasons why, okay. Say um, a graphical user interface is made up of graphics using icons rather than menus, okay. Maybe there are some menus. And say to enter the application that I need, I would use a mouse or I would use a touchpad. The reason for that is, is I would need to open the application using a pointing and clicking device. Okay. Then for your command line, you could go on to say a command line um, uses a list of commands. These commands would need to be typed. Um, unlike a graphical user interface, um, there are no um, icons to point and click on. You would need to um, input 
a series of commands to actually use um, the command line. So therefore, the most, uh, say, the most sensible device that I could think of for this purpose would be a keyboard. The reason for that is I would need to type my commands, and I would need to type my commands using a series of um, symbols, words, and numbers. So for the numbers, I may use a keypad. Okay, and I think that would get you some good marks. Okay, so remember. You just basically, I would for these questions, before you start writing, plan what you're going to write. I do believe in the exam you may be allowed scrap paper to actually plan what you're going to write first. Okay, so let's look at the front of the exam paper. Um, HB pencils for diagrams. Yep, yeah, okay, you may use uh, for or rough work. Um, so yeah, I think you can ask, uh, basically or what you can do is maybe at the bottom here, um, there's a blank page or at the bottom here you can mind map what you're going to say, okay? So as I said, just always remember it's not what they're asking, it's how they're asking that can actually um, maybe confuse you.